I attended uh, CalArts in Southern California, which has a great animation department, and then moved on to Disney. When you first enter as a trainee animator, you do a personal test. In this case, I used Mr. Toad, one of their existing characters, in a scene that I created and animated. It was while I was working in the day at Disney that I first met Tim Burton, although he wasn't working at Disney yet. He was still at CalArts and I met him at an evening drawing class. At Disney, I uh, worked on a film, sort of a training film. It was a feature called Small One, uh, as a trainee animator. And then I animated on Fox and Hound, as you can see in these pencil tests. And simultaneously to my working at Disney, I received a grant from the American Film Institute to do a more experimental film called Seepage which uh, used life-size cut-out stop-motion figures as well as um, cell animation. It was um, started in 1978, not completed until uh, 1981. I left Disney and then subsequently went into commercials and then a whole series of MTV station IDs, which I uh, designed and directed. <laughs> I proposed a series of short films that would all sort of fit together like a jigsaw puzzle into one half hour show called Slow Bob in the Lower Dimensions for MTV. I did get to produce this first installment, the pilot episode, which used live action, stop motion, and cutout animation.
Good to see you, Mr. Potemkin. Uh, do I know you? Here, Robert. A measure of our gratitude. But, thanks. No. The other episodes of Slow Bob, which were scripted, never went into production because upon completion of this first installment, the nightmare before Christmas was brought back to life. I was offered the job of directing, and that's what I did. The Nightmare Before Christmas was an incredibly rewarding, grueling experience for me and my crew. The next project we're uh, going to be working on is James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl. This will be with the same producing team of Tim Burton, Denise Denovi, for Disney Pictures. And this time, we're going to build on what we've learned and use computer animation and live action with our traditional stop-motion animation. <laughs> 